What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your BD lights to a DMX controller. So to have some more control over our lights, we can always set them up to a DMX controller. Now there's a few different approaches here for a DMX controller. So if you have a standard DMX controller, you can use the DMX out of the controller and daisy chain your lights to the controller using DMX cables. But the cool thing about these lights is that they come with a wireless DMX feature, so you can set them up to a wireless DMX controller. So if you want to use this feature, you just want to make sure that your DMX controller has the wireless DMX feature, and you can tell by looking at the back of the controller. And if you see this switch here, along with a button and a light on top, you'll know you're in good shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do for this setup is turn on the wireless DMX for my controller and turn on the wireless DMX for your light, which is this switch here on the top left corner. So as soon as you do that, you're gonna notice these wireless DMX signals light up, which are these little lights over here. So the way that wireless DMX works is that you want these wireless DMX signals between your lights and your controller to match up. And these wireless DMX signals are color coded, so we have a few different options on how they can all link together. So for example, if I go to the wireless DMX signal on my light and press this button here right above the light, you can see that we can cycle between a few different colors. So we've got red, green, yellow, blue, pink, cyan, and white. So these are the different options that we can use between the wireless DMX signals. If you go to switch this on your controller, you'll notice that all of these signals are available as well. So to link up these lights to our controller, let's first decide a color that we want to use for our wireless DMX signal. I think we should use the blue signal for today, so I'm going to press this button here on my controller until the wireless signal shows up blue. And as soon as that's set, I'm going to do that for my lights as well. So I'll go to my first light here and press the wireless DMX signal button until it hits the blue color. Then I'll do the exact same thing on my second light. And after we do that, you'll see the signal light on our controller light up red, while the signal lights on our lights light up green, letting us know that the lights are in sync to our controller. On top of setting up our lights to the same wireless DMX signal, we also want to set them to the same DMX address. So to do that, we're going to press the menu button until we get to the DMX mode, which is the D00 setting. And then we can use the up and down buttons to cycle between the different DMX addresses. So for today, I'm going to set them to D001. So after we do that, we can activate scanner one on our controller, and now we can go through the different faders and see what they do for our lights. Fader one acts as the master dimmer for the light, so if I raise that up and look at the display here on the top right corner, you're gonna see these numbers adjusted, which represent the value that the fader is at. Zero is the lowest value we can set our fader to, and 255 is the highest value we can set it to. So for this demo, I'm gonna set the dimmer all the way up. Next, we have fader two to control the strobe for the light. So I'm gonna raise that about halfway, and you're not gonna see anything come up yet because we haven't set a color for the light. We can adjust the colors for the light with faders three, four, five, and six. So if I play with fader three, that's going to adjust the red LEDs. So as you can see, we start to see some red now. I'm actually gonna turn the strobe off so we just see the colors. So after fader three, we have fader four to control the green LEDs. We can raise fader five to control the blue LEDs and fader six to control the white LEDs. We can use fader seven to control the motor for the light. So the more I raise it, the more you'll see the light start to move. And next we have fader eight, which will set the light to preset modes depending on the value it's set to. So for example, if I set the value for this fader anywhere from six to 55, you'll then start to see this automated mode show up. Now if I switch to a value between 56 and 100, you'll see a different mode start to appear. You can always refer to the DMX guide to show you which values activate which mode for fader eight. Now on my DMX controller, I actually have to use the page select to activate the last fader, which is fader nine. And this will control the speed for fader eight. So the more I raise fader nine, the faster you'll see these modes go. 
Now, like I mentioned, if you don't have a wireless DMX controller, you can always use DMX cables to connect your lights to your controller. So I can take one DMX cable and plug the male end into the DMX out of my controller, then plug the other end into the DMX in on my first light. And now to connect my first light to another light, I'm gonna take another DMX cable and plug the male end into the DMX out of my first light, then plug the other end into the DMX in on the next light. And if you wanna connect even more lights, you're just gonna follow the same process. Remember to set your lights to the same DMX address so that they communicate with your controller. So again, for today, we're gonna set it to D001. And now if I use my controller, you'll then see the lights start to follow. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your DMX controller to your BD20 lights. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.